A former North Providence school superintendent has been arraigned on two felony charges. Bridget Morriso is accused of using a school department credit card for personal use. She is charged with embezzlement and obtaining money under false pretenses. Tonight, we're hearing from the chief of police on what she allegedly did with taxpayer money. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is working the story. She's live in North Providence with the latest. Steph? Police say Bridget Morriso turned herself into the police department this morning when a warrant went out for her arrest. She's accused of using her taxpayer funded credit card on thousands of dollars of personal expenses. Ms. Morriso, what do you say to the taxpayers in North Providence? Silence from Bridget Morriso as she left court Tuesday, charged with two felonies related to allegations she used her North Providence School Department credit card to pay for hotel rooms, airfare, and $2,000 to a spa while she was superintendent. It didn't sit well with me, so I can imagine how it did not sit well with the taxpayers of this town as well. So. Police Chief David Tacoyan says police received an audit of Morriso's finances from the town in September and used that in their investigation. Certainly the audit that the school committee uh, provided us with is a part of the investigation and we did use the inf some of the information in there. The police affidavit says they found $4,600 worth of charges on the card that were personal expenses and an additional $7,000 worth of charges that police were not able to classify. Have you paid restitution? Neither Morriso nor her lawyer would say if she's paid the money back. The affidavit says, quote, she never made any effort to reimburse the school department during her tenure as superintendent. It was only after this case was heavily covered in the media that three checks were received by the school committee. And a school committee member, Stephen Andriozzi, tells me the school committee did not accept those checks, which he says were for a small portion of the money owed because the criminal investigation was ongoing and they did not want the money paid to somehow exonerate her from the alleged crimes. The city is hoping to get that money back eventually. Live in North Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. First, new details on the felony charges against former North Providence school superintendent Bridget Morrisow. Her arrest was first breaking on Eyewitness News at noon. She appeared in court this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado was at the arraignment and she joins us live from North Providence with the new details at 6. Steph. Bridget Morriso was only superintendent of North Providence schools for a year. During that time, police claim she managed to rack up quite the credit card bill on taxpayers dime. 48-year-old Bridget Morriso had only been superintendent for a few months when she allegedly started charging personal expenses to her school department credit card. Police say that included 500 bucks on airfare, $2,000 at a Connecticut spa, and charges at hotels where no school department functions were taking place. It didn't sit well with me, so I can imagine how it did not sit well with the taxpayers of this town as well. She was charged with felony embezzlement and obtaining money under false pretenses. Ms. Morriso, what do you say to the taxpayers in North Providence? No comment from Morriso outside court, but documents say when confronted, she told her colleagues she would reimburse the school department. The police affidavit says, quote, she never made any effort to reimburse the school department during her tenure as superintendent. It was only after this case was heavily covered in the media that three checks were received by the school committee. Mayor Charlie Lombardi's chief of staff relaying this message. His main concern and my main concern is that the taxpayers of our town receive full restitution. And multiple school committee members telling me today they are no longer using any credit cards in the North Providence School Department. In fact, they say the committee didn't even know the credit cards existed and that the finance director had ordered them until after this all came to light. That finance director now works for another town and we're told by the police he is not currently under investigation. Live in North Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.